Hi, lovely people. I'm so excited. I am in Italy. You can see how beautiful it is. All the world is beautiful, but Italy is home for me. And let me show you how to make the perfect salad. Yes, the one I'm talking about is caprese, insalata caprese. First of all, you need to buy nice tomato with many different varieties of tomato. In Italy, they make this particular one, very large tomato, this kind of shape. But here, we got quite a few different ones. They have to be ripe, but not soft. So what actually you do is, you just, when you do the salad, don't do as a slice. You can see what I'm doing. I fold a little line, if there is this particular one, canestrella we call it, just on the side. Uh, it's some they're big, it's some they're small, doesn't matter. At the end of the day, you have to eat, you have to enjoy, and this is the perfect way to do it. So I cut it, and when I cut it, I remove the top. Then I open up, you can see, look, so easy. Then straight goes in a plate. Oh my mind. Then use some nice cherry tomato, remove again the top. Don't do very thin like everybody do, little slice. You don't need to. So you cut it, and then you cut it again. Like you make an ordinary salad. And then again, you put them inside the plate. And then you get this kind of almost a green salad, if you find it. If you don't find it, use any kind of tomato. Oh, just, just one single tomato. Then again, you cut it. Look at the color. Oh, this is unbelievable. They're so sweet. All these particular tomatoes you can find in all supermarket. Just put them inside as it goes inside here. <gasps> Let me get the other one. It's a flat tomato. Again, look at this lovely line. Just cut them on the side. Do the way I'm doing it. Just open up. Slicing is very good, but to do this way is unbelievable. It's really, really good. Make sure that you remove the hard part. This is very tough. Okay, again, just cut it. Look at the juice is coming out. <sighs> now you're going to beautiful plate of a full of tomato. What did you do it? Yes, you need the mozzarella. A buffalo mozzarella is perfect. But if you don't find the buffalo mozzarella, just use any kind of mozzarella, as long as it's nice and fresh. This is quite good. This is big. Just slice it. Not too much, because you want to taste the tomato. Again, slice it. Don't do too thin, like everybody. The do that's very, very, very fine. You don't need to. And then again, you do it to, like, to a big chunk. And it goes again, this one. Oh, yeah. Grab it. And just put them all around. You can see. Many chefs, many cooks, many housewives, they make their own versions. As long as they use this ingredient, it is okay. So once we've done this bit, we get some nice olive oil. This is very important to get some lovely extra virgin olive oil. You drizzle on top a banted olive oil. When you mix with a juice of a tomato, a little bit of milk come out from the mozzarella, it's fantastic. Then you grab oregano. Make sure you don't use fresh oregano, but dry oregano. This is where all the flavor concentrates. You can find some in a little jar. Oh, just get like this. Look. Oh, yeah. Just a little bit. A little bit of salt on top. Salt is very important. Don't buy the very fine salt. You know, we almost you lose it, you can't really feel it. Buy salt, flat salt, then you crush between your finger and go straight on top. Not too much. Black papers, grand black paper. It is very, very important. You just put them on top, let it do it. But the last, not the least, you need it. Some beautiful fresh basil. Just a few leaves or lots of leaves. Pull it. Don't cut it. Just leave them on top. Oh, yeah. This way. Look at 
look at this bread. Oh my man, just use bread. If you can eat bread, just use bread. This bread to talk to me. Just a little bit. Let's have a look. Beautiful rustic bread. That's all you need. Get the salads on the side. Nice pork. Almost want to pray. Look at that. Very important that you rest of the salad. It's rested enough because I can't wait anymore. And now let's try. Try! I know for sure it's good. Oh my mind. Oh my. Oh my. A mozzarella. A little bit of a basil. Little tomato. Mm. 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 What a flavor. I wish you can taste it. Look at this oil there. Mix with a bit of the juice of the mozzarella. A little bit of juice of a tomato, and the oregano inside, and the basil. This is what we call a scarpetta. The word scarpetta means little shoes or means wipe it. Mm. Mm. Why I'm cooking so good? Yes, because of the ingredient. You can make it, you can do it. And you will also say, it tastes so good. Bless you all. I'm going to have this one now.